Hello again, so today's video is sort of a mini printer discussion slash unboxing. I have both the Canon Ivy and Fomemo mini printers and they are both cute, mint, and white and they make me think of ice cream sandwiches. I love using both of these mini printers but I have really been wanting the Canon Selfie Square for a while now and I finally purchased it and it too is mint and white and reminds me of ice cream. After you download the Canon photo app, I forgot what it was called, it basically walks you through setting it up because I feel like the instructions aren't really very helpful. Along with special paper, this printer requires an ink cartridge, which is different from other portable printers, like with the zinc paper, and then it prints, you know, in, you know, separate colors. So you get like the the yellows and the pinks and the blues and then, you know, the final color, which I thought was interesting because I've been using either a thermal printer or the zinc paper printers, which doesn't require an ink cartridge. But because it prints with an ink cartridge, the photos come out really crisp and clear, which the zinc paper photos aren't, you know, in terms of quality, they're not as nice, but they are like the Canon Ivy is still one of my favorite little printers. I definitely liked it better than the Kodak. I think that was the other one I had previously. And then it prints in this cute little square, which I believe is a little bit smaller than the like actual Polaroid. I'm so excited to use these in my journals and my bullet journals and my planners. And the app, of course, I didn't really play around with it in this video, but the app has different borders. You can also make little collages within the square. Like, similar to the Canon Ivy, you can play around with the sizing a little bit, but it of course has this border. I'm sure you may be able to play around with the size of the border, but I didn't really play too much with it. I was just trying to get my first impressions and I was excited to print out a few photos and start journaling. I did want to mention that it is a bit of a chunkier printer. It's quite heavy compared to the Canon Ivy and even the Fomemo printer. I know that there is a different Canon selfie that is a larger version or model and even though it is a little bit heftier it's still quite portable but for me it would definitely depend on the length of the trip and how I was traveling on whether or not I would pack this for a journal kit. But I am happy to add this to my portable printer collection and I love that they're all mint and white. I also purchased some more paper and it comes with the ink cartridge. One thing to note is that when you do purchase the printer, it does come with a few sheets of paper as well as a sample cartridge. It says sample on it, so I don't know how many prints it'll actually last, which is why I wanted to buy some more. And there was a little film around the ink cartridge. Uh, don't take that off because that's part of the cartridge. This past weekend, we celebrated birthdays for my niece and my younger sister. And the day I filmed this, it was my sister's actual birthday. She turned 28. So I figured I would just do a little journal entry to celebrate. My niece is pretty funny. She likes the attention and then she gets really shy when the attention is on her. So it just makes me laugh and it's just so fun to see this little person grow up like right before my eyes. I, I feel like she was just born yesterday. So it's, it's always something new with her. It has been a long time since we really gathered as a family all together. I, I mean, I'm sure for everybody, seeing family was very limited this past year. So it was very nice to be able to go home to my parents' house and just kind of, I don't know, it feels a little bit weird. This is the house that I grew up in and it feels like home but it doesn't feel like home at the same time just because I haven't lived there for quite a bit. I can't really explain it, but I do enjoy going and seeing my parents. But anyway, I'd love to hear more. If you have any mini printers that you're loving or if you have any questions, I can do my best to answer them. I love trying out new tools and you certainly do not need these tools in order to document your life. I just wanted to give you my opinion, my first impressions, I should say, of this printer. So if you've been wanting to try it out, I I think it's pretty fun and it's pretty easy to use once you, you know, download the app. And of course, there are videos online to help you if you need help setting it up. I know my video wasn't really <laughs> the most 
helpful in showing you how to use it. Um, but again, it was just our first impressions. If you'd like to see more about it, just let me know and maybe I can post another video. That's all I really wanted to share with you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one.